Have you ever optimized your GPU RAM? Even overlocked your CPU? Yet games still micro stutter or drop frames? WDF 01000.sys shows up as the culprit. I'll show you step by step how to safely tune WDF, stop unnecessary driver polling, and finally fix those stutters. Step 1. Confirm WDF is the issue. Before fixing anything, let's confirm. Download Latency Mon and run it while gaming. If you see WDF 01000.sys or kernel mode driver framework showing high ISR slash DPC latency times, then yes, this is the source of your stutters. If not, your issue may lie elsewhere, but for most, this is the hidden bottleneck. Step 2. Update chipset and USB drivers. Outdated chipset or USB controller drivers are often tied to WDF spikes. If you're on Intel, grab the Intel chipset INF utility. For AMD users, download the latest chipset driver package from AMD's site. Updating these alone can cut a lot of unnecessary WDF calls, especially if you use VR, capture cards, or USB hubs. Step 3. Disable and used WDF services, 220 to 320. Windows automatically runs user mode driver framework and kernel mode driver framework services at startup, even if nothing needs them. Here's how to fix that. Press Win plus R, type services.msc. Find Windows Driver Foundation, user mode driver framework. Set it to manual instead of automatic. Do the same if kernel mode driver framework appears. Don't worry, Windows will start these on demand if required. You're just stopping them from hogging resources when they're not needed. Step 4. Registry Tweak for Idle Polling By default, WDF keeps checking devices even when idle, wasting CPU cycles. We can tune this. Open Registry Editor, Win plus our regedit. Navigate to HKY underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash services backslash WDF 01000. Create a new D word, 32 bit, named idle polling timeout. Set its value to 1 decimal. This tells WDF to stop aggressively polling devices when they're not in use, lowering CPU usage without breaking device functionality. Step 5. Stop power manage devices from waking your PC. Some devices constantly ping WDF through wake events. That's wasted performance. Let's shut it down. Open CMD as administrator. Run. Power H off. Power device query wake underscore armed. First command disables hibernation, a common WDF trigger. Second shows which devices can wake your PC. For devices you don't need, like spare USB ports. Open Device Manager. Expand Human Interface Devices or USB Controllers. Right-click Properties Power Management. Uncheck Allow This Device to Wake the Computer. This stops WDF from constantly polling those devices. Step 6. Verify and Optimize. Once tweaks are applied, reboot and rerun LatencyMon. You should see WDF 01000.sys no longer hogging CPU cycles. ISR slash DPC times drop significantly, meaning your system can finally prioritize game performance. For an extra layer, check your timer resolution with tools like iCellC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Lower timer resolution helps stabilize frame pacing once WDF is under control. And that's it. By disabling and used WDF services, applying registry tweaks, cleaning up device wake events, and verifying results, you've eliminated one of Windows' most overlooked performance killers. So next time you think it's your GPU or CPU causing stutters, check the frameworks in between. If this helped you, drop your before and after latency mon results in the comments. Hit like and make sure to subscribe for more deep dive PC optimization guides like this one. Because sometimes, the biggest FPS boost isn't new hardware, it's fixing what Windows hides. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show 